Hey, it's Dan Zimmerman. Welcome to Illustrate to Educate. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly objective videos on topics that matter. Have you ever wondered which tax system is better? Progressive tax or flat tax? In this video, we'll dive into the debate and look at both sides of the argument. If you're new to the debate, let's catch you up to speed with the difference between progressive tax and flat tax. A progressive tax system has tiered tax rates that charge higher income individuals higher percentages and offer the lowest rates to those with the lowest incomes. Your tax rate, or the percentage of your income that you pay in taxes, is based on what tax bracket or income range you're in. Let's visualize this with a fictional character named Taylor. Let's say Taylor makes $50,000 a year as a graphic designer. Using a simplified tax bracket, Taylor's first $10,000 is taxed at 0%, then the next $20,000 is taxed at 10%, which is $2,000, and the last $20,000 is taxed up to 20%, which equals $4,000. Total taxes for Taylor would be $6,000 and take home would be $44,000. Now let's take a look at flat taxes. A flat tax refers to a tax system where a single tax rate is applied to all levels of income. This means that individuals with a low income are taxed at the same rate as individuals with a high income. Let's go back to our example with Taylor, who earns $50,000 a year, and this time we will use a flat tax instead of a progressive tax. If the flat tax is 15%, then 15% of the entire $50,000 is $7,500. In this system, Taylor gets to keep $42,500 of the $50,000 annually paid. If we were to set the flat tax at 12%, then this would equal $6,000 of taxes, equivalent from our last example with progressive taxes. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of a progressive tax system? Supporters of a progressive tax system point out that higher salaries enable the wealthy to pay higher taxes, making the system fair because it lessens the tax burden of the poor. Since the poor have the smallest disposable incomes, or money left after taxes, and spend a higher amount of their money on basic necessities, such as food and housing, a progressive tax system allows them to keep more of their income. Critics of progressive taxes point out that very few people are extremely wealthy, and the majority of people who have the power to put representatives in the government are in the lower economic category. Thus, the wealthy pay more taxes that fund a large portion of the government, however, their representation is limited in influencing policies and electing officials within the government. Now let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of a flat tax system. Those who support a flat tax system point out the advantage of its simplicity. Everyone pays taxes at the same rate. For example, in the U.S., the complexity of the progressive tax system costs taxpayers a lot of money to implement it. However, with a flat tax, everyone pays the uniform rate, reducing the cost of its implementation. Flat taxes also do not discourage high earners from earning more, or the poor to strive to earn more. Critics of a flat tax point out that it places an excessive burden on low-income earners, while high-income earners are left with a significant amount of more money, disproportionate to that of low-income earners. In the end, both of these systems may be considered fair in the sense that they are consistent and apply a rational approach to taxation. What differs is how wealth is treated and who is seen as receiving the greater benefit. Some believe it is more of a social or a political question than a financial question. So now I'll leave it up to you. Which tax system do you think is better? Did you enjoy this video about flat tax versus progressive tax? If so, please like the video and comment down below on which system you think is better. Also, please subscribe to Illustrate to Educate and share this video with others. If you liked this video, then visit my channel or check out my other simple and objective videos to the right.